Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Introduction to K-Touch. In this tutorial, you will learn about K-Touch and the K-Touch interface. You will learn how to type accurately, quickly and efficiently on a computer keyboard that has the English alphabet keys. You will also learn to type without having to look down at the keyboard every time you type. What is K-Touch? K-Touch is a typing tutor. It teaches you how to type using an online interactive keyboard. You can learn typing at your own pace. You can gradually increase your typing speed and along with it your accuracy. K-Touch also has lectures or typing samples in various levels of difficulty for you to practice with. Here we are using K-Touch 1.7.1 on Ubuntu Linux 11.10. You can install K-Touch using the Ubuntu Software Center. For more information on Ubuntu Software Center, please refer to the Ubuntu Linux tutorials on this website. Let's open K-Touch. First, click Dash Home, which is the round button on the top left corner of your computer desktop. The search box appears. In the search box, type K-Touch. The K-Touch icon appears beneath the search box. Click on it. The K-Touch window appears. Alternately, you can open K-Touch using the terminal. To open a terminal, press the Ctrl and Alt key and T keys together. To open K-Touch in the terminal, type the command K-Touch and press Enter. Now let's familiarize ourselves with the K-Touch interface. The main menu comprises the File, Training, Settings and Help menus. Click Start New Session to start a new session to practice typing. Click Pause Session to pause while typing. Click on Lecture Statistics to know your typing progress. Level indicates the level of complexity in terms of the number of keys used when typing. Speed indicates the number of characters that you can type per minute. The correctness indicator displays the percentage correctness of typing. The new characters in this level field displays the characters that you need to practice at the selected level. The teacher's line displays the characters that have to be typed. The student's line displays the characters that are typed by you using the keyboard. The keyboard is displayed in the center. The first line of the keyboard displays numerals, special characters and the backspace key. Press the backspace key to delete typed characters. The second line of the keyboard comprises alphabets, few special characters and the tab key. The third line of the keyboard comprises alphabets, colon, semicolon, and caps lock key. Press the Enter key to go to the next line while typing. Press the caps lock key to type capital letters. The fourth line of the keyboard comprises alphabets, special characters, and the shift keys. Press the shift key together with any other alphabet key to type capital letters. Press the shift key with any other key to type a character given at the top of the key. For example, the key with the numeral 1 has the exclamation mark on top. To type the exclamation mark, press the shift key together with 1. The fifth line of the keyboard comprises the control, alt and function keys. It also contains the spacebar. Now let us see if there are differences between the K-Touch keyboard, laptop keyboard, and the desktop keyboard. Notice that the K-Touch keyboard and the keyboards used in the desktops and laptops are similar. Now let's see the correct placement of our fingers on the keyboard. Look at this slide. It displays the fingers and their names. Fingers from the left to right are named little finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, and the thumb. On your keyboard, 
Place your left hand on the left side of the keyboard. Ensure that the little finger is on alphabet A, ring finger is on the alphabet S, middle finger is on the alphabet D, index finger on the alphabet F. Now place your right hand on the right side of the keyboard. Ensure that the little finger is on the colon semicolon key. Ring finger on the alphabet L, middle finger on the alphabet K, index finger on the alphabet J. Use your right thumb to press the space bar. The first time you open K-Touch, the teacher's line displays default text. This text lists instructions on how to select the lecture and begin the typing lessons. For the purposes of this tutorial, we shall skip typing the default text and select a lecture. However, you can pause this tutorial and type the default text. Now let us select the lecture to begin the typing lessons. From the main menu, select File, click Open Lecture. The Select Training Lecture File, K-Touch, dialog box appears. Browse the flowing folder path, Root, User, Share, KDE4, Apps, K-Touch, and select the English.KTouch.XML and click Open. Notice that the teacher's line now displays a different set of characters. Now let us start typing. By default, the level is set to 1 and the speed is set to 0. The new characters in this level displays the characters we will learn in this level. Notice that the cursor is in the student's line. Let us type the characters displayed in the teacher's line using the keyboard. As we type, the characters are displayed in the student's line. Look at the speed field now. As you type, the number increases or decreases based on the speed of your typing. If you stop typing, the speed count decreases. Now let's type the numbers 7 and 8, which are not displayed in the teacher's line. The student line has become red. Why? That's because we have mistyped or made an error in typing. Let's delete and complete the typing. When you reach the end of the line, press the Enter key to move to the second line. Notice that the teacher's line now displays the next set of characters to type. The student's line is cleared of the typed text. Let's check how accurately we have typed. The correctness field displays the percentage of correctness of your typing. For example, it may display 80%. We have completed our first typing lesson. It is good practice to first learn to type accurately at lower speeds. Once we learn to type accurately without mistakes, we can increase the typing speed. Let's begin a new typing session. Click Start New Session. In the Start New Training Session K-Touch dialog box, click Start from First Level. What do you see? A set of characters are displayed in the teacher's line. The student's line is cleared of all characters and is blank. Let's start typing. While practicing, you may want to pause and restart later. How do you pause your session? Click Pause Session. Notice that the speed does not decrease. Recall that it decreased when we stopped typing without pausing the earlier session. To resume typing, click the next character displayed in the teacher's line. Once we complete typing, we can check the correctness field. It displays the accuracy of typing. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on K-Touch. In this tutorial, we learned about the K-Touch interface. We also learned how to place our fingers on the keyboard, 
type by looking at the teacher's line and completed our first typing lesson. Here is an assignment for you. Open K-Touch. Complete the typing lesson in level 1. Practice typing with this level. Remember to use the correct fingers for the keys. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-NHRT, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash n-m-e-i-c-t hyphen intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.